This is the Airbus A350-1000, an aircraft that has redefined the boundaries of long-haul travel. Designed for speed, efficiency, and extraordinary range, this aircraft boasts a top speed of Mach 0.89 and can fly non-stop over a distance of 8,700 nautical miles. The genesis of the program dates back to the early 2000s, as Airbus sought to develop a counterpoint to Boeing's rapidly advancing 787 Dreamliner and 777 series. The initial proposal, known as the A350, was met with lukewarm enthusiasm, leading Airbus to go back to the drawing board. The Airbus A350 XWB program was officially launched in 2006. The A350-1000 was formally announced in 2008, designed to compete directly with Boeing's 777-300 and, to some extent, the 777X series. It aimed to offer more seats, greater range, and lower operational costs, all while keeping passenger comfort front and center. After years of meticulous design, testing, and collaboration, the aircraft took its maiden flight on November 24, 2016. Did Airbus succeed? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A350-1000. As you step into the aircraft, the first thing that grabs your attention is the sheer spaciousness of the cabin. With a width of approximately 19 feet 6 inches or 5.96 meters and an overall length of 242 feet, 1 inch or 73.78 meters, the aircraft offers an expansive interior that maximizes passenger comfort. It usually features a typical three-class configuration that accommodates around 350 to 410 passengers, although customization can alter these numbers. The A350-1000 is engineered for a quieter travel experience thanks to the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-97 engines, which are designed to be more efficient and less noisy. Additionally, the aircraft uses advanced noise-reducing materials in the fuselage, managing to keep cabin noise levels significantly lower than many of its competitors. The result is a more peaceful ambience, allowing passengers to relax or work with fewer distractions. The cabin pressurization system is one of the highlights, with a cabin altitude pressure equivalent to about 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, which is remarkably lower than what's found in older aircraft models, and serves to reduce passenger fatigue. The air quality is further enhanced by HEPA filters and a modern air conditioning system that refreshes the cabin air every two to three minutes, delivering a superior air circulation experience. Seat comfort is another area where the A350-1000 excels. In economy class, the seat pitch typically ranges between 31 to 36 inches or 78 to 91 centimeters. In business class, the seats usually transform into fully flat beds with a pitch of up to 80 inches or 203 centimeters. The seats are ergonomically designed to provide lumbar support and come with adjustable headrests, enhancing comfort during long-haul flights. The aircraft employs an innovative mood lighting system that can mimic natural phenomena like sunrise and sunset, which aims to minimize jet lag by helping to regulate passengers' circadian rhythms, especially useful for those traveling across multiple time zones. When it comes to keeping passengers entertained, the A350-1000 doesn't skimp on features. With high-definition touchscreen monitors ranging between 11 to 18 inches, the in-flight entertainment system offers a wide variety of choices from movies to real-time flight data. Wi-Fi connectivity and USB charging ports are generally standard, but these could vary based on the airline's specific configuration. Storage space is often a concern for passengers, but the A350-1000 aims to alleviate this with generously sized overhead bins. The compartments are designed for maximum space utilization, allowing for more baggage while retaining an uncluttered look and feel for the cabin. Last but not least, the lavatories offer a decent amount of space and come equipped with touchless faucets and antibacterial surfaces. The cockpit of the A350-1000 is spaciously designed, measuring roughly 25 feet 2 inches or 7.67 meters in width at the front of the flight deck. It follows the side-stick design philosophy Airbus has championed, rather than the traditional yoke system. The layout is streamlined, with a focus on minimizing clutter, and follows a dark color scheme, which reduces glare and helps to focus the pilot's attention on the instruments. 
The cockpit boasts six large LCD displays, each measuring 15 inches diagonally. The graphical user interface is intuitive, providing a wide array of information without overwhelming the pilots. The PFD and ND are particularly well designed, offering bright, clear, and easily readable data. The FMS is one of the stars of the cockpit. It's based on the Thales Avionics Top Flight FMS, integrating multiple functions ranging from navigation and performance computations to systems monitoring. Pilots can input data using a cursor control device, which is a trackball located conveniently between the two pilots or through the onboard information system, which operates much like a tablet and allows for intuitive data entry and retrieval. The A351000 features a highly sophisticated autopilot and auto throttle system capable of CAT-3 auto land, effectively allowing the plane to land itself in low visibility conditions down to decision heights of just 50 feet or 15.24 meters. The optional head-up display extends the capabilities of the cockpit further. The HUD projects critical flight information onto a transparent screen in front of the pilots, thereby allowing them to maintain a more heads-up posture. This is especially useful in complex flight situations or during periods of reduced visibility. Integrated into the cockpit is an EFB, which replaces the traditional cumbersome paper charts and manuals and streamlines operations by providing pilots with real-time data, including weather conditions, flight planning, and performance calculations. The cockpit is equipped with advanced communication systems, such as the VHF and HF radios, as well as the latest in SATCOM. The CPDLC feature allows for text-based communication with air traffic control, reducing the chances of miscommunication and enhancing overall safety. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The powerhouse of the Airbus A351000 is the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engine, a crowning achievement in turbofan technology. This is the most powerful engine ever developed for an Airbus aircraft, with a maximum thrust of 97,000 pounds force. The engine incorporates the latest advancements in aerodynamics, materials, and noise reduction technologies. With a fan diameter of approximately 118 inches or 3 meters, the engine is optimized for efficiency, consuming about 25% less fuel compared to older generation aircraft of similar size. When discussing the takeoff distance, the aircraft requires about 8,500 feet, or 2,600 meters at maximum takeoff weight, to lift off the ground, which is highly efficient considering the aircraft's size and weight capabilities. Once airborne, the A351000 boasts an impressive rate of climb. It can ascend at a rate per minute of approximately 3,500 feet, or 1,067 meters when fully laden. In terms of altitude, the plane has a maximum service ceiling of 41,000 feet, or 12,500 meters, which enables the aircraft to fly above most weather systems, thus providing a smoother ride while also optimizing air traffic management and route flexibility. The aircraft's maximum cruise speed is around Mach 0.89, which is approximately 677 miles per hour, or 1,090 kilometers per hour. One of the standout features of the A351000 is its exceptional range. It can fly up to 8,700 nautical miles or 16,110 kilometers without refueling, which puts some of the most distant global cities within non-stop reach. In terms of payload, the aircraft can carry a maximum payload of approximately 253,500 pounds or 115,000 kilograms which allows airlines to transport a considerable amount of cargo in addition to a full passenger load, making the aircraft an economically attractive option for various types of missions. When it comes to landing, the plane typically requires a landing distance of approximately 6,300 feet or 1,920 meters at maximum landing weight, thanks to its advanced braking systems and wing flaps that increase drag and reduce speed upon descent. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus. A351000 is $366 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.